Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're here, you're likely searching for answers as I once did. Now I am not a medical professional, but I hope through these videos that I can maybe help others that are dealing with the same issues. For any proper diagnosis, you'll need to make sure to speak to an actual medical professional. Today we're gonna to answer what is vestibular neuritis or vestibular neuronitis, as it's also sometimes called. According to Vestibular Disorders Association, neuritis means inflammation of the nerve, while neuronitis means damage to the sensory neurons. Both can result in dizziness or vertigo, but there's no damage to the hearing. I had hearing tests done, and though I've played drums and guitar and other loud instruments for a long time with no ear protection, somehow I have not damaged my hearing. Vestibular neuritis is a disorder that's a result of an infection, be it viral or bacterial, that inflames the inner ear or the nerves connecting it to the brain. Basically, your inner ear is sending incorrect information to your brain. This results in vertigo, dizziness, disequilibrium. As I've said before, I don't have the spinning sensation. For me, it's more of like walking on a trampoline every day. Other symptoms can include nausea, vomiting, or difficulty concentrating. Many of you may have experienced other odd symptoms as I have. For example, mild headaches, the heart palpitations, uh, heaviness in the body, this heavy feeling like you're being dragged down, ear pain, or even the fleeting chest pains that you get, tingling sensations in the fingers or the toes, and, and many others. Now for most people, the inflammation will go away in a few days or a few weeks, for some, it will go away and come back. Then for people like myself, it might be a lifelong thing. Thank you for listening to my overview on what vestibular neuritis is. Please like and subscribe and comment down below. Tell me what other symptoms you might have uh, experienced. And what else would you guys like to discuss? I will put a link to the Vestibular Disorders Association in the description below. And thanks again for watching and take care.